Hey, warm welcome to everyone who decided to join me today. We are going to be looking at some one of my personal projects. You can call this my baby, and as the name suggests, this is an integral calculator. I know this might have come a little surprise to some of you, because I have been talking about math in my channel, and this one was just another offshoot of that. So I would like to go over my code and the segments of it in a little more detail in a future video, but for now, I'm just going to debrief over it. So I'd used SciPy to calculate the definite integral, imported the math library for just the floor and seal functions, and then I got NumPy for the lint space, and then I used SimPy to classify the integrals, which I just have not done. And now I just use matplotlib to plot to plot the integrals. So now let's get started. When 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 you run this function, like you would be prompted to enter an integral, let's start with a conventional integral that is basically 3 times x squared so as you know the integral of that is x cubed and the lower bound let's say that's 10 and the upper bounds 10 lower bound negative 10 and the upper bounds 10 and now you know that this should be a thousand plus another thousand the final answer is supposed to be two thousand let's see what the calculator says and now the shaded area under the curve like you see the 3x squared plotted as a parabola and now it's shaded the area from negative 10 to 0 and 0 to 0 to 10 and the calculated integral is 2000. Bang, this works. But does this only work for such stuff? Let's find out. Now we can run this again. And now we can enter another function like the natural log of x. And now let's see what happens. So the lower bound can be 1, and the upper bound can be 100. So I do not know what, what the natural log of 100 is, but I know that the second part is going to be 0. And the natural log of 100 is going to and the integral of the natural log of x is x times the natural log of x minus x. So that's basically 100 times the natural log of 100 minus 1. Let's see what that comes out to be. It's taken a while to calculate it because this is a Python program, as you know, and my computer is running a few more processes in parallel. So let's just wait for this. There it is. It's finally showed up, and now, like you can see, this is about 361. I'm not sure what that is in terms of E, but you see, it's shaded every single, every region from 1 to 100 of this natural log curve. And now, this could also do trig integrals, so you can check that out too. So I can just do the sine effects. Actually, I'll do, let me just do the cos effects, because the integral is the sine effects, and the lower bound is a 0, and the upper bound is let's say 3.14 1 so this integral is this upper bound is close to pi and this is supposed to be 0 because that is the negative integrals they are both negatives of each other and this might not give you a 0 because 3.141 is not exactly pi let's just hold on for this and now the python program seems to be pretty slow because it's got to be converted to C first, and then the math libraries get access from there. Alright, there it is. So now, as you can see, the value is menacingly close to zero, and the and the area that's been shaded is pretty pretty symmetric, as you see the area from zero to to about pi over two and pi over two to pi. The negative and the positive areas are pretty similar and almost very close with no tangible difference. I hope you enjoyed this. Please do let me know in the comments if you want to see a few other projects I've done. Thank you for your time. Until next time.